Hoping that my uh, adapters don't snap. I knew it. All right, ready? Right, ready? Go. Go. All right, so that really is impressive that it did that that well. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a versus video between the DeWalt XR uh, quarter-inch hex impact driver versus the brand new Ryobi HP quarter-inch hex impact driver. Now, this one's a brand new tool. This one's an older model. We will be using a 6 amp hour flex fold advantage battery on the DeWalt and this on the Royal we're going to use a 6 amp hour HP battery on that. Both of these are 18650 cells so this is going to be a 100% fair fight. So let's see what these could actually do against each other and look at the specs. Alright so first let's do the DeWalt. This is model number DCF887, quarter inch X collet, tri LED beam on the front. So this has three speed settings, one, two, and three. This goes to, this. the max for this is 0 to 3,800 impacts per minute and 0 to 3,250 RPM. This is, a, this is a beast of a tool and so that is the DeWalt. Battery is full. Next time we'll look at that is at the end of the video to compare the battery difference. Alright, so for the Ryobi, uh, when I first saw a picture of this, I thought it looked dumb, but actually having it in my hand it actually looks like a pretty cool tool. So this is the new Ryobi HP. The model number for this is PL, sorry. <coughs> model number for this is PBL ID02. <coughs> this has three speed modes. It's electronic. No, it has four speed modes. It has auto, speed one, two, and three. We'll have it on three. This goes to a max of 21, uh, this goes to a max of 2900 RPM and a max of 4,000 impacts per minute. It has a single tri LED beam on the base. Battery is full. We'll check out the battery status at the end of the video. Well, let's see what these can do against each other. 130 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so first we will be doing the Ryobi. Let's see if Ryobi can bust this nut. Now, bad, uh, speed three. Let's see if Ryobi can do this. All right, so ready, go. Time, no problem. No problem. 130 foot-pounds of torque. Let's see how fast the DeWalt could bust that. All right, now uh, we're, we are tied. These are being timed from a tenth to a tenth of a second. So whoever busts this nut fastest wins. All right, so it's on speed three, battery is full. Ready, go. Time, 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 time. I do not, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. Let's get back to the log. All right, so we will be doing the Ryobi first. All right, so what we're gonna do is one six inch uh, spacks each. All right, so right there is good, ready. Go. Time. Not too shabby. So let's do the DeWalt next. Right next to it. Right here. Actually right there is good. It's on speed three. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's take out the Ryobis. Quick, it is a quick insert collet, just like that. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's do the next one. All right, ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so next let's do two eight inch timber locks. Uh, we'll do it right here, actually. Right here is good. All right, so 
Ready? Go. Time. All right, so actually, a smidge. There we go. All right, ready? Go. Time. Let's take the Ryobi's out. Then after this, we're going to go uh, switch to the lags. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, the DeWalt's turn. Ready? Go. Time. You know what? I think we're going to just, we'll do a four inch, then a 10 inch. We're going to make a huge jump. Alrighty, so we're going to do four inch for the DeWalt, a four inch for the Ryobi. Let's do the Ryobi first. Well, you'll be right there. All right, so ready? Go. There we go. Time. Not too shabby. Now, if the DeWalt does the same thing, I am not going to... Uh, so let's say the DeWalt spins. Until it actually goes in, that's when I'm going to start the timer. Because no, sometimes, oh, I got it. The, it's stuck, so I got to do a, a tap in reverse. There we go. Now it's out. So sometimes, mo most of the time, if it does that, I just uh, restart it. So because if, we, if that happens for the DeWalt, I'll start the timer once it actually uh, starts sinking in. Let's do the DeWalt right here. Perfect. All right, so ready? Go. A little bit more. Time. All right, so let's take out the Ryobis. All right, ready? Go. I'm not too shabby. All right, let's take out the DeWalt's. Then we're going to go to the 10 inch and see what these can do. Ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. Well, let's uh, boost it up majorly and do a 10 inch lag. This is a major stress test right here. These are, yep, yeah, these are torturous. Do this right here, then the DeWalt right there. Hoping that my uh, adapters don't snap. All right. <coughs> Ready? Go. God, it's like this never had this 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 used to be rare. This used to be rare, but now it happens every time I do it. All right, let's continue. Ready? Go. Time. It did it. Not bad. Not bad for a 10 inch lag. 10 inch by half inch lag. Not bad at all. All right. So I have DeWalt's right here. Uh, I do on this one. I do have a Milwaukee adapter. The Ryobi was using a Makita adapter. Hopefully this won't break. We're going to do it right here. Speed three. Oh, let's do a quick temperature reading on that. 80, 85, 
87. 87 degrees Ryobi got. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Just uh, a tad bit more. Time. It did it without snapping, luckily. All right, let's take up temperature reading. All right, so the DeWalt got 76, 80, 81, 80, 80, 80, 81 degrees the Dewalt got. So I, I think it's running a little bit cooler. Let's take out the Ryobis. Then we'll do a final temperature reading and a battery check. All right, ready, go. All right, so that really is impressive that it did that that well. It really is. This thing is actually a beast now. This the Ryobi Impact driver is a beast. All right, so the battery, the final battery life is uh, still has three bars remaining. Let's do a temperature check. We're just going to do the housing: 88, 84, 71, 85, 91, 91 degrees. 91 degrees of Rio we got. All right, so let's take out the DeWalt, then we'll do the battery life and the temperature, the final temperature. All right, ready? Go. <laughs> Time. What was that? Yep, it, it came out just fine. So, all right, let's do a temperature reading on that. The battery life is at three uh, three bars out of three bars. So the DeWalt actually might have been a little bit more efficient with energy. 74 degrees, 78, 85. Oh, I saw 80, 104 degrees. But when it comes to these two versing each other, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. But <clears throat> one thing I will admit after doing tests like this for the past couple of years, I could definitely tell you that the Ryobi majorly did step up their game since, uh, since when I first started this channel. At the time, I was amazed at how well this one did. All right, just because it's Ryobi, it's a brush tool, but... This blows every Ryobi impact driver out of the water in my opinion. And so one thing I will say that the performance would have been significantly different if I used a 21700 cell battery instead of the six volt, uh, six eight hour flex volt advantage. And the same thing with this, Ryobi needs to start making 21700 cell batteries and make them normally. Like their normal battery should be 21700 cells because Milwaukee, the same company that makes uh, Ryobi, TTI, they make more uh, high output batteries and they have sales for those batteries uh, more than they do with their regular, uh, with their regular batteries. So uh, Ryobi needs to start making their batteries, uh, more batteries that are 21,700 cells. So we'll see what happens in the future, but these, uh, the, these two did well against each other. Major, major step up since when I first started working this, uh, doing this channel. So uh, I do not know what the test results are. I'm excited to find out while I edit this video. But yeah, but uh, but there it is. Uh, if you were wondering what the difference between this, uh, uh, between these two, the XR eight eight seven, 
And they also, DeWalt does make an 888, which I want to get. But, so yeah. The, they actually did pretty good against each other. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.